Happy St. Patty's Day! Woo! So, it's Duncan, Sam, we've got Jessica from Toward Zero Deaths, we've got Trooper Troy from the Minnesota State Patrol. It is St. Patty's Day, we're going to do some St. Patty's Day trivia. With and you! give away some t-shirts. So, they've got questions for us, we'll get to those in just a second. And uh, Sam and I are going to write down our answers because we're going to play along. But the first person that comments with the correct answer, true or false, is going to win a KRLC t-shirt. We'll give away a bunch of these. There's a lot of stuff going on. Let's talk about St. Patrick's Day for a little bit, first of all. This is a big drinking holiday. It is. So we're going to have extra enforcement starting today and then going in there all night. And it's not only the state patrol, but it's all law enforcement agencies throughout the state of Minnesota. So we'll have extra enforcement just targeting DWI violations and impaired drivers. I have to imagine that this is a, a busy day for you guys. Yeah, it's real busy. So we'll, we have uh, quite a bit of quite a few impaired drivers, so we just want to make sure we educate people and make sure they make the right choice today. And have a designated driver or uh, use some of the other ride services around to make sure you get home safely. Yeah, the cool thing in Rochester now, we have several options for ride services. We have Uber, we have Lyft, we have taxi companies, so definitely party responsibly today and uh, get yourself a sober ride home. Sam, are you ready? I think so. Why don't you tell everybody now that we've got some people on, why don't you tell them again what we're All doing All right, here. here's what we're doing. We're doing St. Patrick's Day trivia. True or false game. They're going to give us questions. Sam and I are going to play along. We're going to write down our answers. But whoever comments first on each question and gets it correctly first is going to win a KRLC t-shirt. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I guess it's pretty cool then, huh? <laughs> All right, here we go. You know what, guys? Who's going to go first? I am. Okay. Question number one. According to the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, a 12-ounce can of beer that contains 5% alcohol is considered a regular drink. True or false? 12 ounce beer contains 5% of alcohol is considered a regular drink. Yes. True or false? All right. Sam, do you have your answer? Yes. Has anybody answered? No answers yet. No answers? Get on it, you guys. True or false? 12 ounce beer, 5% alcohol. Oh, we got a false. And we got Derek Chapman says true. Derek Yay. Chapman, our first winner. Nice. Derek, we will have a t-shirt waiting for you at the KRLC Studios. I was right, too. Were you right? I said true. Yay. Question. Prove it. <laughs> I saw him write it afterwards, but whatever. Yeah, right? I know. <laughs> All right. Question number two. Okay. A typical craft beer is equivalent to drinking one regular beer. True or false? Typical craft beer is the equivalent of... A regular beer. All right. True or false? Next question. Who's our next Mike one? Peterson. False. He was right. Hey. Mike, Mike <laughs> Peterson. Do like, so I don't have to write it every time? Good idea. This really was my answer. Uh, sure it was, Sam. <laughs> right? And then as I can just slide my hand yeah. up to All the right, right answer. I see. Mike Peterson. You get a KRLC t-shirt Mike too. Peterson. This is what I'm Thank you. Do. So yes, it's false. A typical craft beer is equivalent to drinking nearly two regular beers. That's why you get that warm feeling when you have one of those craft beers. They're so right. delicious. And it's, why, and it's why you only need one or two. All right. Right, Troy? I am definitely. All okay. right. During St. Patrick's Day in 2016, law enforcement arrested 189 drivers for DWI. 189 drivers arrested for DWI last year? Yes. True or false? Oh, man. Who's our next winner, Frank? I'm waiting. Is it creepy if I just stare in the camera? I know, right? Oh, Mike Peterson was right, but he already won a shirt. Becky Fryan? Is that how you say it? Fryan? Becky Fryan's the winner this time. It was true. Oh, I said false. I thought maybe it was more than that. Nope. All no, right, that's a lot of people. there we go. That's a lot of people. Becky wins that round. She gets a shirt. Who's? What's the next question? Okay, the odds of finding a four-leaf clover are one in ten thousand. True or false? The yeah. odds of finding a four-leaf clover are one in ten thousand. True or false? Does anybody out there smell? Not me. Yeah, Becky. Never. Becky says thanks, guys, for the shirt. You're welcome, Becky. We love you. Mm. That was weird. What was that? <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I couldn't stop either. It was like, All <laughs> right, we got another winner. Shauna Refsland. She said true. Ah! Four Leaf Clover, one in 10,000. I got that one right. Yay. All right. Try, we are oh, Shauna's the winner that time around. Yes, I'm keeping 
score. Have <laughs> you started drinking already? <laughs> it's a little early, Sam. What, 9.30? Not even. <laughs> keeping short? So, hey, hold on. Real quickly, there are a lot of festivities going on today. People are going to start drinking really early today. Block Party downtown Rochester with our friends in the Half Barrel Bar and Kitchen starts at 11 o'clock. I know Dooley's has some stuff going on at 10 o'clock. Uh, we're going to be bouncing around downtown having some fun, so hope to see you out there. All right, question number five. You're welcome, Shauna. Well done. Way to be the first one with that right answer. Drunk driving on St. Patrick's Day deaths accounted for 45% of fetal crashes. True or false? St. Patrick's Day deaths? Yes. 45%? Yep. Were fatal crashes. Ooh, that's a, that is a... Well, almost half of all the fatal crashes that occurred on St. Patrick's Day. Drunk driving is a fact. What is that noise? Do we have a winner? Did somebody kill a cat? <laughs> what is this? What is happening right now? I believe the Rochester Caledonia Bagpipe Band is joining us. And Christopher T. Williams is the winner. Yeah. Where did they come from? That doesn't happen every day. Wow! How many Facebook Live videos have been crashed by bagpipes? Am I right? He must have been watching. I don't know. So right there, that's my buddy Chris with the Rochester Caledonia Bagpipe Band. They're going to be all over today. I've got their full schedule right here. They're going to be at Dooley's at noon and at 445. They're going to be at Beatles at 1245 and 4 o'clock. Pappy's at 145, Brothers at 530, Roosters at 730, and Wildwood at 830. All of those details are at KRLC.com. Thank you guys so that much for coming in today. super impressive. That, that was cool. cool. That was really good, right? Yeah. I've yes. never been that sounds, to a bagpipe before. Either. Sounds of the season. That so was That was our that secret was surprise, secret. right? <laughs> you guys love it? That was a good secret. Meanwhile, Christopher T. Williams was the first to get that one right about the 45% of crashes of the fatal crashes on St. Patrick's Day are drunk driving related. It is true? It is true. I was right. Oh, you were not. You cheater. <laughs> cheater. I got that one right. We're tied now. I thought it was going to be more. All, All right. right. Question number six. Okay. It's estimated law enforcement will make an average of 200 DWI arrests investigate and investigate 400 crashes during St. Patrick's Day. 200 arrests? Yes. Four hundred and four and investigate four hundred. Is that is that just here in Rochester? Is that Minnesota? How what it's all Minnesota. All of Minnesota. Okay. So what do you think? In Minnesota. Leanne Van R. Van Briesen. True. It yeah. is true. Leanne R. Van Briesen. <laughs> he got false. He was wrong. <laughs> I love beating him. So the average number of DWI arrests for an entire non-holiday weekend, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, is just uh, 250. 250. So for a non-holiday. Non so, so for days, one day, one day, you're almost doing that. Right. Mm -hmm. That's insane. Wow, wow. versus a three-day weekend. Yeah. Wow. So that just shows you how busy law enforcement and everybody will be in the hospitals and so everybody involved with uh, be safe. Yeah, yeah, be, we can't say that be smart, right? Be smart. Oh. Make good decisions. All right, what's the score? A whole bunch Five to not a lot. Five to four. <laughs> Five to four. Sam's ahead. All right, next question. Okay, so that kind of ties in with the next question, but law enforcement will give more than four DWIs per hour during the St. Patrick's Day celebration. Here we go. Four DWIs an hour during St. Patrick's Day. Travis Hatfield said false. Stacy Heim said true. Stacy Heim is our winner. Yeah. yeah. It is true. true. St. Patrick's Day actually ranks second in all holidays for DWIs per hour just behind Labor Day. Wow. Wow. Labor Day? Well, you know, people like to well, celebrate not being in being labor. Celebration. Laboring. Yeah. <laughs> laboring. I don't know. Are you writing their kids are going back to school? <laughs> Question number eight. 
Currently, more than 600,000 Minnesota residents have a DWI in their records. So that's one out of every licensed driver in the state of Minnesota. One, one out of how many? One out of seven. One out of 600, seven. 600,000. Here we go. First, uh, first right answer starting now. As it pops up. One out of seven. Trisha oh, Doucette. Yes. Trisha Doucette was right with true. Yes. Yes. We both got it right. So we averaged about 69 DWI arrests per day in the state of Minnesota. 69 a day? No, just on an average Wow. Day. Unbelievable. Day, so, so average DWI arrest cost a person thousands of dollars, right? What is the figure there? Is it $10,000? $20,000. $20,000 20, $20, okay. for a DWI. So think about that. $10 for an Uber, $20,000 for a DWI. That's all you need to know when you're making your decisions. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Like, no thanks. All right, question it's, number nine. It's almost as much as my car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe you 40 mean, years You ago. mean my 25-year-old Subaru is not worth 20 grand anymore? <laughs> Dang, all right, well. Anyway, on to the next question. Oh, okay. poor Frank. He has a tape deck. I do. Yeah. A cassette tape deck in my car. Or, or as younger as, as the younger it's listeners would say, holder. it's an iPhone holder, mm -hmm. but not a charger. I have a tape box if you want to borrow it. Do you? Into a little bit of, yeah. <laughs> I might take you up on that offer. You should. <laughs> Okay, so in 2015, more than half, actually 53% of DWI offenders were from the age group of 20 to 34. 20 to 34? More than half? More than half of the DWIs given. 20 to, to 34. Age, yeah, to the age is 20 to 34. Hi, Marion, we see you. Um, Hi, Marion. Tasha M. Claussen. Has she won yet? No. No. Okay, she was right, so. With? With true. Oh! <laughs> I overthought that. Way to one. go! I knew it was true. Way to go, Tasha! You're the next. You're the most recent winner. Verified, Tasha. What was her last name? Clausen. Yes, with yeah. a K. Perfect. All right. Okay. Up next, St. Patrick's Day was traditionally a dry holiday. True or false? St. Patrick's Day was traditionally a dry holiday. We'll take the next answer. Tasha says, awesome, thanks, guys, you bet. You Way welcome. to have the answer. Did Travis Hatfield win already? He has not. Travis Hatfield just won that one. Win? So what do you guys think, true or false? Was it a dry holiday? Try guess true. Uh, guess it was true. true. Yes. So it is true. Travis, Travis Hatfield. Way to go, Travis. Irish law from 1903 to 1970 made it a religious holiday, which meant that all the pubs were closed. So, All the pubs are closed. Pretty crazy considering. No, considering how much people drink. drink to celebrate now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Holidays out there. All right, we have two questions left. Okay. That means two more t-shirts to give away. So an estimated two hundred and forty-five million dollars will be spent on beer for March twenty or for, for St. Patrick's Day. Two or false. How much money? Two hundred and forty-five million dollars. All right, here we go. That's just beer. That's not like whiskey or anything like that. Uh, it's or, just beer. Okay. Well, so the source said. Okay. Just beer. Just beer. Okay. Adam Halstead. Adam okay. Halstead. Has he won yet? Nope. Adam Halstead's the winner. It is true. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you the worst have, at this game. You have no chance of beating me now. Sam is going to win this game. Okay, I'm going to break that into two separate parts. So... How Wait, many? what? Yeah. So have... he has another question? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she's giving him another right. chance. And she's giving the listeners an extra chance yeah, to win. Yeah. Jessica likes you guys, KROC FM listeners. Really we like you, Jessica. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Are you writing answers before you've heard the question? Do you want it oh. true and false, or do you want people to answer fill in the blank? True and false. Keep okay. it easy. Okay. So, more than 13 million pints of Guinness will be consumed today. You bet, Travis. Congratulations. You, to our morning show, you know the answer to this. Was it on there? Yes, we talked about this. 13 million pints of Guinness will be consumed today. True or false? Trisha's already won, right? Trisha Doucette? Or no? Where's your list, Trisha Troy? Trisha Doucette did win. Okay. She did? No. Yeah, she did right oh. there. Trisha, you're so good. Tanya Kime. Tanya Kime! Is What's she? Up, Tanya? 
Has she won yet no. so far? Won yet. She was right. Tanya was right. It's true. And Sam is right. <laughs> you're going to lose, don't you? No, I got it right. Yeah, but you're still going to lose. I know. I'm sorry. It's the story of my life. As long as I get 70%, <laughs> I get that D average. <laughs> <laughs> got to gotta right? aspire to something, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do we have any more questions? We have one that's a multiple choice, but we can skip that one if you want. We can do multiple choice. You want to do it? Final okay. question. All right. Final question. Final question. The 1800s term paddy wagon comes from this. A, the police wagons had soft leather padding. B, when drunk Irish got arrested, they all said their name was Paddy, i.e. like John Doe. <laughs> that's smooth. C, the police station was in Paddington. Or D, the maker of the police wagon was Paddy Inc. What is the answer? Um, I, no, hold on. Wait, wait till we get... Well, I don't, I don't have the answer to that one on here. All right. Is that the answer? Yes. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> All right. So we know Troy was right. And Jay King was right. Jay King? Jay King got it right first. It'd be funny if your name was Joe. It is. Joe King. Uh, <laughs> oh. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody. Thank you for tuning in today. We've got a lot of parties going on all over town. These guys are going to be working hard, so please make so smart decisions. Right I'm embarrassed for him, too. Give yourself a lift. Don't make, uh, yeah, don't make your family and friends embarrassed and uh, end up in jail. <laughs> so the answer was indeed B. When the drunk Irish got arrested, they all said their name was Patty. I thought that was a joke. I did too, but that's the truth, huh, Jessica? That's the truth. That's the truth. Well, that's according insane. to this website. All right. Good. That's it. Have Thanks for joining day, us, everybody. everybody. You can find all Happy the St. Rochester St. Patty's Day info at krlc.com. Bye. Have a great day too, Trisha.